there are various types of matrices and these are important later when we try to solve some equations uh, we shall see there how how they are important for now let's see what are the type of matrices so some of the types of matrices is one is upper triangular matrix so upper triangular matrix means okay so when we are talking about them uh, in this video i'm going to talk about only square matrices okay so even if i don't mention assume that everything is a square matrix either upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix diagonal or scalar everything is square matrix okay now uh, in a square matrix we know that if uh, indices i mean uh, if row number equal to column number for any element that is the, they are all called as prime, you know principal diagonal elements now with respect to this principal diagonal uh, we shall discuss about these properties right this is the principal diagonal okay now uh, upper triangular matrix means uh, if all the elements below the principal diagonal see it is counterintuitive you might feel that you know since the name is upper triangular all the uh, elements above the principal diagonal might be zero but that is uh, somewhat misleading so remember it it is counterintuitive don't go by your intuition so upper triangular matrix means if all the elements below the principal diagonal which means this part if all these elements below the principal diagonal if they are all zeros right then we call such a matrix as upper triangular matrix right and what about the diagonal elements and what about the you know these uh, elements above the principal diagonal we don't talk about them either they can be zero or non zero or they can be any type of numbers we don't we don't talk about them we don't discuss about them our only uh, you know uh, intention is or our only uh, thing that matters is the elements below the principal diagonal if they are all zeros that's it it is called upper triangular matrix we don't talk about principal diagonal elements or above them right uh, so they can be zero or non zero still if this part is zero then we can call it as clearly upper triangular matrix and the next one is lower triangular matrix lower triangular matrix means this you know exactly the same uh, you know opposite kind of so if you have the principal diagonal like this if all the elements above the principal diagonal here if all the elements above the principal diagonal are zeros that is enough we can call it as lower triangular matrix so upper triangular matrix means if all the elements uh, below the principal diagonal are zero and lower triangular matrix means if all the elements above the principal diagonal are zero and here also we don't talk about what happens if this uh, diagonal principal diagonal is zero or below them is zero that we don't care only thing is this part is what we, we worry about right and in the definition if i is greater than zero i is greater than j which means if i have the location of an element like you know a 3 1 what does it mean third row and first column right so all the elements with i greater than j they all will fall below the principal diagonal right all such elements should be zero that is the definition by definition if a i j equal to zero where i is greater than j which means if all the elements which fall below the principal diagonal are zero that is upper triangular and if all the elements which fall above the principal diagonal are zero that is called lower triangular right and in case if a if a uh, matrix is either upper triangular or lower triangular in in that case if the principal diagonal elements also happen to be zero right a triangular matrix in which principal diagonals are also happen to be zero a i i equal to zero then that is called as strict triangular matrix right so which means um, if i have even the diagonal elements also as zero in upper triangular matrix then i can call it as strictly upper triangular if in lower triangular matrix if i get even the principal diagonal elements also as zero i can call it as strictly lower triangular matrix right and the other one is other important um, matrix is diagonal matrix in diagonal matrix you know if a matrix is both upper triangular and lower triangular then we can call it as diagonal matrix right so what does it mean if the elements both above and below this principal diagonal if both of them are zeros then we can call it as you know diagonal matrix which means if i not equal to j which means all the non principal diagonal elements for all i not equal to j if they all happen to be uh, you know zeros then, then we can call it as diagonal matrix for example you can you can think of this one as diagonal matrix
right? All the elements above and below the principal diagonal are all zeros, right? In fact, even if diagonal elements are also zeros, then also we can call it as a uh, diagonal matrix. But then the main main concern is these uh, elements below and above, right? So you know this this uh, uh, diagonal matrix also happen to be upper triangular matrix because elements below the principal diagonal are all zeros it also happens to be lower triangular matrix because elements above the principal diagonal are zero therefore a diagonal matrix is both upper triangular as well as lower triangular got it and the next interesting uh, this property is scalar matrix so scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix. What does it? What does that mean? The elements above and below the uh, this uh, uh, principal diagonal are all zeros. Along with that, it will have one more property that all the elements of the principal diagonal are equal. So which means something like this, two, two like this, right? So there are some interesting properties about this scalar matrix. Um, a scalar matrix can be obtained by taking an identity matrix and multiplying it with a scalar for example this is the scalar matrix right in which principal diagonal elements are all twos then how do i get it is you can take a you know identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and you can multiply with a scalar 2 if you if you perform this multiplication then of course we are going to get this right therefore a scalar matrix is nothing but multiplication of a matrix using a identity matrix using a scalar right now what happens is if i have a matrix a and if k is a scalar matrix in which all the diagonal elements are small k right then i can write this as a into small k into i right where i is the identity matrix isn't it then i can write it as k i can pull out and then i can write it as a into i right and we know that a into i is nothing but a right then we can write it as k into a that is equal to k a got it therefore multiplying a matrix with a scalar matrix right is also multiplying that matrix with a scalar value that is also called a scalar multiplication right so that is why the name scalar matrix has been derived for this so understood this so scalar matrix has one important one interesting uh, property when we go for multiplication right and we can we shall discuss about these uh, matrices and how to obtain them and how to there are lots of properties about it there are a lot of decompositions and then while solving the equations they are important we shall again see them there okay for now just the properties are important